Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Leslie and I do different hauls, mostly Bath and Body Works. Um, today I have a huge ass haul. Like, I have five bags and a great big pile. So uh, grab a snack, uh, grab a drink. Get, this is probably going to be a long video. Um, this is several different sales. Bath and Body Works needs to quit the sales because like they got me like just this week, probably like three times. Um, I'm going to try to go on a Bath and Body Works diet. My wallet needs it, so I don't know. We'll see, but let's dive into the haul. Um, I'm going to start with the one or the two non-Bath and Body Works items I have first. Um, I picked these up yesterday at CVS when I went to go get some prescriptions. But the first one, hang on, they put the security thing like right over the description. So annoying. Oops. Okay. So the first thing I got is this Essence Super Last 24 Hour eyebrow pencil and it's waterproof so there's what it looks like it's got like what is that this little brush or something on one side I don't know it must be a brush because nothing comes out of it and then it's got the pencil on the other so I got the shade like the lightest one they had what is this Oh, it doesn't say. That's nice. So, but anyways, you can see it's really light. Hopefully it matches. If it doesn't, it was cheap, so oh well. Okay, the next thing I got is this LA Girl Lip Plumper. It's this, uh, it says it instantly plumps lips. It adds moisture, moisturizes and plumps, and it's tinted in this light pink color so that's what the box looks like and to be honest I'm not really sure that these work because I have another one by another brand and it tingles and that's about it that's all I don't notice it doing anything but anyways that's what it looks like outside of the the box like I said, it's tinted light pink. Well, it doesn't look tinted there. It just looks kind of clear. But we'll see what it does when I put it on. Again, if it doesn't work, it's, it's another lip gloss I tied to my collection. And I won't be mad if it doesn't, doesn't actually plump. I'll just use it as a lip, lip gloss. Again, it was cheap, so... Okay, so let's dive in to the Bath and Body Works. This first few items, I, oh my god, I probably got this like three weeks ago. They were having a $5.95 sale, and I didn't really need anything, but I had just picked up, like a few days before, I had just picked up a Butterfly Mini Perfume, and... I wanted this, I like to have the whole set so I can layer. So I picked up the Body Mist, the Fine Fragrance Mist. This has notes of raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. So let's take a sniff. Hmm. I get maybe a tiny, tiny bit of raspberry, but it's more floral. I smell mostly the iris petals. And I don't really get any vanilla. So I like it. Um, it's something different for me. I usually don't go towards these scents, but it's, it's kind of a light, a lighter scent, I think. And I think it'll be really nice for springtime. And I also went ahead and picked up 
the body cream and the body lotion. So, and it's pretty packaging. I like it. I like purple, obviously. So that is that haul. Let me put this out of the way. Um, what next? So, I think this is the second sale. Hell, I don't know. I'm just so ready to put this shit away and get it out of, out of the bags. But I think the next sale I bought from... Let me get this stuff out. Okay, so we had a room spray sale. They were, what were they, $3.95? I think so. So I did, um, I placed a Bopus order, but then I did pick up some more that night when I was working. Um, let me see, I think the Bopus order, I know it was these three whatever it doesn't matter so I'll just show you all of them while I was going to anyways um the first one I got is the vanilla plus musk I love this candle I love the soap and I love the room spray um it's a I mean obviously it's a musky scent oh it has it does have the scent notes on here whipped vanilla soft sandalwood and suede musk I get a lot of the sandalwood and musk but that vanilla is so nice with it. Really tones it down and I, it's, it's really nice. And then I picked up a fresh lemon. This is tart lemon, zesty lime, and fresh linen. I'm really liking the, the laundry scents lately. And then I got a fresh coconut and cotton. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. This one doesn't have any notes on it, but it's coconut and cotton. I got a pink pineapple sunrise. And I picked up the Gingham Gorgeous. I think it may be focusing a little bit better. And the last one that I picked up is the Marshmallow Musk. This is another awesome scent. I, I love the musk, but I love that, that marshmallow scent with it. It is so, so nice. All right. Then, I don't know when I got this stuff. I don't know when I got this stuff, but so I'll just show it to you. It was, I don't know if it was a sale. I don't know if I got my employee discount. I have no idea at this point, but I picked up a Gingham Gorgeous bar soap. Again, I can layer the scent when I wear it. It doesn't have scent notes on it, but I think probably everybody has seen this scent by now since it came out. And I picked up two hand creams. I picked up the Gingham Gorgeous and the Gingham Vibrant. And the Gingham Gorgeous, I picked this up to go with my travel shower gel and spray for when we go on our trip this summer so I have something to wear. And then I picked up two pocket backs. I got the Gingham Gorgeous and the Gingham Fresh. And it's kind of weird how random it is. Like in the pocket backs, they have Gingham Gorgeous. I mean, they have Gingham Gorgeous and everything. But in the pocket backs, they have Gingham Fresh, but not the Vibrant. In the hand creams, they have the Vibrant, but not the Fresh. So I'm like, okay, whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. Okay, so that is that one. I think the next sale was Wallflowers, and those, those were, I mean, that was a big sale. I worked the Saturday that that sale was going on, and we were super busy. I was over in the white barn side 
as cashier that day and it was so busy all day. Um, but that's nice, it makes time go by fast. So let me see what I got. So they had the wallflowers on sale for $2.95 and then they had select plugs for $9.95. So I did get a plug. Well, I got two plugs. I got a, like a, not quite navy blue, but darker than royal blue. Kind of like maybe this color. I guess that's kind of navy. But I got that because my bathroom counter is a dark blue. And so I got that one to match. And then we're redoing the bathroom maybe this summer and I wasn't sure what it would look like in the end so I also picked up this kind of champagne color one kind of a very light champagne color um this is scent control both of them were and this retails normally I think both of them are $14.95 but like I said they were on sale for $19 or $9.95 so I picked up a couple of those because you know I think you ought to have some backups just in case. And then I picked up quite a few plugs. I did a Bopus order, and then when I was working, I decided to get some more. Um, I did get, I thought I saved the tag for it, but I guess I didn't. I got a Marshmallow Plus Musk. That one is already in my bathroom, and it smells amazing. The other ones I got, I got a Saltwater Breeze. This one has notes. This says it's enhanced fragrance. It's fresh and relaxing. And it has fragrance notes of fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. So love that one. I got a warm ocean breeze. And this one has notes of ocean sandalwood warm sage, eucalyptus zest, and coconut. I'm actually burning that candle right now, and it's, it's really nice. I picked up a hibiscus waterfalls, and this has fragrance notes of tropical hibiscus, sweet peach nectar, fresh waterfall mist. I kind of fell in love with the candle. I thought it might be too floral, but that's... The candle is the reason I got the, the wallflower. I got a stress relief eucalyptus and spearmint. Because it's that time of year in the school year. Well, I need all the uh, stress relief I can get. And this one has notes of, um, it says eucalyptus oil clears the mind and spearmint oil soothes and uplifts. So we'll see, I definitely need to clean, clear my mind. I got an Under the Magnolia Tree, another scent that I didn't think I liked. I thought it'd be too floral, but it's, it's really pretty. It has magnolia petals, lemon zest, and peach blossom. I think it's the lemon and the, the peach that really kind of tone down that magnolia and make it bearable. Okay, so I must have gotten two of these. Here's another Vanilla Plus Musk. And this one has notes of whipped vanilla, soft cedar wood, and suede musk. I got an aloe and palm. I wasn't really drawn to this scent. I, I mean, I kind of like it in the candle. I don't own it. But a lot of people were picking this one up, so I decided to give it a try. This one has fresh palm leaves, clean eucalyptus, and vetiver woods. I also kind of like the, um, what is it, that, like, neutral um, collection. I, I do kind of like the body care in that scent. I got a cactus blossom. And this one has notes of cactus flower petal, sun-kissed coconut, vanilla, and fresh sparkling lemon. I got a, a, an endless weekend. 
the notes are Fresh Summer Mandarin Sun-Kissed Magnolia Blue Coconut Water. As you can see, I kind of leaned toward scents that can go in the bathroom because I don't like food smells in the bathroom. That's, that's cringy. I got a Raspberries and Whipped Vanilla. This one, I don't know, I might take it to school. But I find that I smell them for about a day at school and then they fade. Now the one in the bathroom, like I can smell, I can smell it out in the hallway. It's doing like if I had two in my classroom, that might make a difference. But I don't have that many outlets and I don't want the kids to mess with it. And they would, they would, it would be broken in a day. Um, this one has notes of pink raspberries, strawberry, vanilla bean, and sugared lemon drops. And they have that new candle the, in the, in that scent. It smells really good. And then the last one I bought while I was working is Mahogany Vanilla. And this is a new one for me. I don't really care for mahogany teak wood. But I think in this one, the vanilla, I've smelled the candle. And I think the vanilla tones it down quite a bit. Um, but this one has notes of warm vanilla, fresh bergamot, and sweet sandalwood. And I got quite a few more in a bopus order. So let's, I don't even remember what I got. So let's find out together. Okay, I got a Fiji White Sands. This has notes of fresh cut sugar cane, white nectarine, and sandalwood. I picked up strawberry daiquiri with notes of frozen strawberries, sweet simple syrup, a shot of tropical rum, and zesty citrus twist. I got a limoncello. This one has Sorrento lemons, cane sugar, and lemon zest. And then I got a Radiant Sky. And this one's got Rays of Sunshine, Golden Mango, and Juicy Lychee. What is this one? I got another Stress Relief Eucalyptus and Spearmint. I got another Hibiscus Waterfalls. What is this one? I got a Laundry Day. This one has notes of Fresh Air, Crisp, crisp Eucalyptus, and Soft Lavender. This is Deep Blue Sea. This one has notes of Blue Citrus Waves, Crisp Island Woods, and Fresh Cypress. I got a Sun Drenched Linen. The notes are Cool Cotton, Crisp Apple, and Soft Musk. This is another Warm Ocean Breeze. Another saltwater breeze. A lavender vanilla. This has notes of lavender blossom, creamy vanilla, white woods, and sugared musk. Really nice scent. Oh, here's the tag for that first vanilla and musk. And a golden honeycomb. This notes are savory honey, cozy vanilla, and warm butterscotch. I don't know if I really get that butterscotch that much. And the last one I got another under the magnolia tree. So this is gonna keep me busy for a while. All right, what next? So they had I just okay. They had 
I don't know when I got this, but at some point I picked this up with my reward. Um, it's a pocket back holder. Normally it is $9.95, but of course I got it free. And I thought this was really cute. And where's the button? It does light up. I don't know how much you can see that, but there you go. Super cute. Okay. And they had the, this was last week, last Tuesday, because I remember I worked. No, I lied. This was last weekend. I worked, it was Saturday. They had the moisturizer sale where like body butters and body creams and lotions and those little balm stick things. They were on sale for $5.95. So I got two body butters. The first one I got is this Uplifting Boost um, Neroli Blossom and Bergamot. This is from the Aroma line. And this one has no, it says whipped body butter, whipped shea butter plus cocoa butter. Um, it says a blended aroma of neroli blossom and bergamot essential oils to rejuvenate and invigorate. 24 hours of intense moisture, which I need. Whipped, fluffy, and fast absorbing. So I got that one. It smells really good. It's just kind of, that's what it looks like on the inside. Love it. Can't wait to use. I think this one will be very relaxing. And I also picked up another body butter and the Gingham Gorgeous. Sorry, that light is kind of causing a glare. There we go. Um, this one has, again, has notes of pink, strawberry, peach, nectar, and peony blooms. Again, it's also just white on the inside. It smells good. I really get the strawberry. Teeny tiny bit of peach and peony, but mostly strawberry to me. This is really nice. I think I've got the whole collection now, so I'm done. And then, of course, I, since I like to have sets and everything, I picked up some body creams to co complete my co collection. I have the sprays. I just didn't have any matching lotions. So, of course, I picked up a Bahamas uh, Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. Here we go. Um... I mainly got this one. I had one that of these that was probably two thirds empty or three quarters empty. Someone stole it off my desk. So this is a replacement for that. Um, this one has notes of passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. It's kind of light, but I really like it. Like in candle form and body care form, I really like it. I think it's a pretty scent. I picked up a Hello Beautiful, pretty packaging. This one has notes of white gardenia, jasmine petals, magnolia blossom, pink nectarine, and cotton musk. Really pretty. Um, I smell a, a lot of cotton and then floral. It's kind of a fresh floral scent. I really like it. I'm trying to branch out of my normal comfort zone too. I picked up a beautiful day. And the notes are sun-kissed apples, sparkling cassis, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. It's a lot of scents. What do I smell? A little bit of apple. Apple and floral, but I can't quite pick out what the floral notes are, like which ones are more prominent or if they're just kind of all blended together. I don't really know my flower scents that well. And the, the Gingham Gorgeous, picked up the body cream in that. 
I got a original gingham. The says notes of blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine violet, and clean musk. And again, everybody says that they changed this. If I'm not mistaken, didn't it have apple in it originally? I feel like it had green apple. But they, de they took that. I definitely don't smell that anymore. It's more floral than anything. I smell mostly freesia. Which I guess, I mean, it smells clean. So I like that. I'll use it. And I picked up a champagne toast. To be honest, I may have this already. Couldn't remember, so I picked up another one. Of course, this has notes of bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. I think everybody knows what champagne toast smells like because it's their best-selling scent. It smells like champagne. What can I say? All right, so that is that haul. And then I believe it was... Was it Sunday or Mon It was Monday. They had a total body care sale. And this was like mists, body butters, lotions, creams, sprays, mini perfumes. Like just about everything. Um, again, they were $5.95. I feel like on one of these orders I used a 25% off coupon. I can't I have no idea which one I, I don't have my receipts or if they were both this I, I don't have a receipt anyways um but I, I got too much so let me just take it out of the bag and I'll show you what I got oh look another one of those I'm telling you I have too much all right the first thing I picked up did I go to, this might have been a Bopis order, and this wasn't from my store, because if this my store would have had this on the Saturday sale, I would have gotten it, but I picked up a Bahamas uh, banana, passion fruit and banana flower in the body butter. Again, that's what it looks like. It smells so good. I get a lot of the passion fruit mostly, but I do smell banana in it love it. I picked up, I guess, another Gingham Gorgeous Body Cream. So I'm set on that. The only thing I didn't get in the new Gingham line is the full-size fragrance mist because I got two of the little sampler set that came with all five and I figured if I have two of those that should last me for a while. I got some scrubs. Actually, let's finish with the body creams. I got another strawberry pound cake, a backup of this. Um, this is fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, whipped cream. I've smelled this one for you guys before. It smells exactly like the description. Like if you had a strawberry shortcake in front of you, it smells exactly like this. I got a gingham fresh. It has notes of juicy pear, sparkling clementine, and fresh daisies. I get pear and floral. It's just, uh, well, a tiny bit of floral. It's mostly pear and like a really fresh, clean scent. This is probably my favorite of the three. I got a... Gingham Vibrant. This one has notes of wild blackberries, candied violets, and soft vanilla. You get a lot of the blackberry. Yeah, I get like blackberry and violets. Smells really good. I got a moisturizing body wash and Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. Again, I got a layer of those scents. And then I picked up some scrubs. 
I got one in Saltwater Breeze. Notes of uh, fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. I got a gingham fresh. I got gingham gorgeous. I got a gingham vibrant. And I got a Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower. Okay, two more items from this haul. I got a Gingham Gorgeous Diamond Shimmer Mist. Usually don't go for glittery products. Like, I hate the glotions. I hate them. But one night at work, I sprayed this on me, and I thought it was really pretty. And it's not overly heavy on the glitter when it sprays out. So I think if I use it in moderation, I'm really going to like it. Again, layer in scents. And... The last thing I got, so I had already, I've already picked up mini perfumes in Gingham Gorgeous, Vibrant, and Fresh. I, I don't, I don't have the love. I have, I think I have a lotion and a full-size body mist in love. It's not my favorite, but I went ahead and picked up a mini perfume in Gingham Vibrant, or the, sorry, Gingham Original to complete my set. So that is that haul. Okay, we're getting through it. Then on Tuesday, they finally had a mini sale. Um, all travel size items, lip products, bar soaps, and Maybe those spray hand sanitizers, I don't remember. I feel like I'm missing something. Travel size lippies, bar soaps, hand sanitizers. Yeah, um, they were on sale for $2.95. So I picked up something I've been eyeing for a while that I wanted to try. And this was a bogus order because my store didn't have a few of these items, so. But anyways, the first thing I got that I had my eye on was this Vanilla Nourishing Lip Mask. My poor lips need all the help they can get, so I thought I'd try this out, see how it works. I picked up a, and this my store didn't have this, but I pip, picked up the Mintha Lip Shine, the green tube. I had tried to pick up, like, what is it like the vanilla one that's like two times something and another one similar to this I tried to pick up those two and another lippy but they were canceled I wasn't too mad I got the the lip mask and I got this one so I wasn't mad about it I got a stress relief eucalyptus and spearmint body cream And I picked up a few bar soaps. So the first one I got was Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Sorry for the glare. I got a Lavender Vanilla from the Aromatherapy. I picked up an Among the Clouds. This is the, actually, the, I think, the first thing I have in this scent besides the pocket back. And I have a candle. Again, not my favorite. I heard it's not very strong, but I figured I'd just use it in the bar soap and use it in the shower. I don't really care if the scent doesn't last. And then from the aromatherapy, I got a eucalyptus spearmint. All right. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Let me scoop this stuff over. So... On Wednesday or Thursday, I think it, the sale started Wednesday and it runs through the Saturday, um, all candles are buy one, get one free. And I also had a 25% off coupon. Um, I didn't order Wednesday. I didn't order Thursday. I was being good. 
because I was waiting for the new candle release and I went to the to the store at the outlet. It's not really an outlet, but it's in an outlet mall. I go to that store a lot be most of the time because um, it's right by my work and if I were to go to my store, it'd be like way out of the way. I mean, it's close there, like I said, from my house, they're all about 15, 20 minutes depending on traffic. But um, from work, the outlet is like a few minutes away. So that's why I go there most of the time. But um, I know the manager pretty well. And I was like, hey, so the candles, you have them for Friday. And he's like, well, technically, I'm like, I work at another store. I, I know they're coming out. You can tell me. And I said, are you able to hold any just in case I can't do both this? And he was like, technically, no, but wink, wink, how many do you want? <laughs> and so I was like, two of each. But anyways, I picked up. Uh, 10 candles. Again, I don't need these. I just organized my candles the other day and I don't need these, but I wanted them. Um, I have had my eye on Ice Lemon Pound Cake. So again, I placed this. This was all a Bopus order and I had a 25% off coupon. Um, Ice Lemon Pound Cake is sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fruity pound cake, and whipped cream. Oh my god. The lemon and the pound cake. I mean, this is like strawberry pound cake. If you had this dessert sitting in front of you, it would smell exactly like this. I love it. And... To be honest, I'm really contemplating another one. Whether buy two or buy one, get one free. I want a backup. And I kind of want a strawberry pound cake too. We'll think about it. But anyways, these usually retail for $24.95. And I got a fresh mint and tea tree. This is so good. Um, it has notes of bright spearmint, tea tree, rose, and rosemary. I mostly smell that spearmint. I think that's what draw, drew me in. I mostly smell spearmint and tea tree. And just like taking off the lid without even smelling it. Man, I can smell it. Oh, that spearmint is so good. And again, this one is normally $24.95. This is so good. So fresh, good springtime scent. Or anytime you want to just freshen up a room, like maybe you got done cleaning. And I got a Palo Santo Vanilla. I hate Palo Santo on its own, but this vanilla is so good with it. It's Palo Santo, Woody Musk, and Tonka Bean. The vanilla really tones it down and makes it a soft scent. Does it have musk in there? Yes, it does. And it's really musky. I really like it. And this one is normally $26.95. And I wanted so badly one of the glass lids. I, I didn't really care for, I mean, there's champagne toast, which is out all the time. There's flower cart, which is to me nasty. And there's, what is it, like Ocean Driftwood, which is good. But my favorite of the new glass lids was the Spring Clementine. And it's kind of peachy around the outside. And look at that pretty peachy pink colored lid. And I like this scent. I mean, I, would I have bought it without a glass lid? Probably. Um, the notes are Sugared Clementine. Neroli Blossoms and Sweet Amber, and I love all those scents. But I mostly get that Clementine, and it's so good, so fresh. Yeah, I highly recommend this one, and of course the glass lids are normally $32.95. And then, what we've all been waiting for, the ice cream shop candles. So... 
on my Bopus order, I originally got two of each, but then I was like, I think I got three or four each of the PB&J and the Lemoncello and Unicorn Sprinkles or whatever it is. I think I got three or four of those. I know I got at least three, so I was like, oh, do I need one more of each? So I went in and I placed another order for one each. But these are normally $26.95. So the first one is rose water and ivy. Or, yeah, rose water and ivy plus vanilla bean. And it's got that pretty wraparound label. It's pink with different colored sprinkles. Like I said, normally $26.95, just a plain white lid. And the notes on this are vanilla marshmallow, soft rose petals, rain kissed English ivy. I haven't smelled it yet. Okay. I like both of those scents. Definitely get some rose in there. I smell, I, I definitely smell rose water and ivy. And the vanilla just makes it a really soft, pretty, rosy scent. It's not overpowering at all. It's kind of like a sweet rose. It's really good. I recommend you at least sniff it. But I got one, two, and three. Well, you can't see the label. Three of the rose water and ivy plus vanilla bean. And then I picked up the mint chocolate chip milkshake i think this one was probably the most anticipated um again it's got kind of a mint colored label with different colored sprinkles on it really cute and if you look on the front at the bottom below the the title it says vault or new this one has new checked on it and i think if i'm I'm actually I'm sure the PB and J and the Limoncello ones those both had new marked but this one has vault so this is one they actually brought back out from can't remember the year 2018 19 I don't know I didn't never got it the first time but this one has notes of mint ice cream chunky chocolate chips and whipped cream so let's see Ooh, it smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Oh my God, it smells just like it. I can't wait to burn this. This is gonna be really good. So I got one, two, and three of those. So, um, like I said, the first eight candles were all in a bopus together with a 25% off candle, or sorry, 25% off coupon. Um, I haven't done the math to figure out like how much they were each. I, I, don't, I don't care. I spent like $90 with tax. And then the, uh, the two ice cream shop candles, when I went back and decided I wanted one more of each, I know those came to like 26 and change after tax so um yeah that is everything like I said I'm going to try to go on a bath and body works diet so they need to a stop having sales and b stop coming out with new stuff or bringing stuff back that I want but we shall see. I know I'm probably not going to buy any more candles. I definitely won't have any more candles shipped to my house because it's hot. It will be hot here for probably April, May, June, July, August, like six more months. Um, I'm not ordering candles to be delivered. It's just, they'll melt. So will I pick up more candles this summer? I hope not. I don't plan on it just because one, I'm going to be gone for most of June. 
and I don't know if I'm going to be burning candles in July or August. It's it's really hot and with I don't like I don't like to burn them with the fan on as high as it goes. Um, you know, blowing the flames around. So we shall see what the weather does. And I don't know if I'll be going to the store besides to go to work in July because it's too hot to go anywhere. Um, maybe I need to leave my card in the car when I go to work. We'll see. But anyways, if you liked this video, don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!